All right, now, we are now in the basement of the Liberty Building where all the secrets are yeah. In the basement of the Liberty Building right here in Centerville, and we're with the IT folks. And IT, information technology, they're the ones running the world. Whether you like it or not, they are, okay? And I have Megan, help me with your last name again. And Megan has been delighting me for the last half an hour with great stories about her family and about her job. Megan, first of all, thank you for letting this interrupt you, okay? Sure, yeah. I appreciate that. IT is the world of the future, whether they like it or not, it's on our wrist, it's on our telephone. How in the world did you get in this whole business to start with? Well, I started out in the GIS department over at the Queen Anne's County Planning and That's Sunday. mapping, make sure everyone understands. Yes, GIS okay. is mapping, so I used to make maps there and work kind of back in a corner there too. So. Um, Faith Rossing, she became the director of many, many offices. And during that transition, she asked me to come in and be a, kind of a technical liaison for her. Okay. Explain to her, uh, like, what's happening. Right, okay. Just, yeah, just to try to trans translate what everybody was saying if it was too deep for her. And and uh, and then from that, I got appointed as the um, acting IT chief. Congratulations, good. Thank you. And then I became the IT chief. And, uh, and now you have a desk. Manager, yeah. <laughs> now you're in trouble, Megan. Yes, right? Now, before right. we talk about the job, uh, Mary, two delightful twins, yes. I'm assuming living on the, in Ken Island. Yes. Down, okay. Yeah, down Ken, Ken Island Estates, down where all the, the sewer and, and water, or actually not water, just sewer is going to be running down there. Okay. So. And you're active in Little League sports. I think you said you're manager of a Little League soccer team. Uh, management, manager of a, a, a soccer team, yes, Okay. my kids. So and like two twins, I think, are probably keeping you busy. Right. Yes, two okay. eight-year-old boys in the third grade at Mattapique that uh, definitely keep me on my toes. <laughs> Never a dull moment. Full-time mom, full-time taxi driver, full-time probably a little <laughs> bit of everything, right? Yes, absolutely. Hey, tough yes. To, look, if you can handle, like we said off the air, if you can handle the twins, I think IT is simple. Okay? Yeah, yeah. Well, Megan, help us out. Okay, I'm going to play uh, Joe Citizen here. Mm -hmm. What is, What is the IT or department consist of? What are we talking about? Uh, well, we have um, four other people besides myself down here. We have a, a network engineer who takes care of all of the uh, the fiber, the communications, the cell phones, te telephones, landlines. We have a systems engineer that takes care of all of our servers and a lot of the server applications. Um, our Microsoft Exchange that takes care of our email, and he has a lot of other smaller smaller um, applications that he manages. And then we have uh, sort of a um, more of a project coordinator, not project coordinator, more of like a programmer that helps out. We have Ron Seals who takes care of a lot of our um, finance people when they have issues. And so when they need a program, an account like we were talking about, is that what he does? Uh, well, actually, he's, no. he's more of along the lines of if, if you have an issue with a, um, with one of the programs that okay. are being okay. used, so he takes care of um, our recreation program that when it goes down, he's our first call. And we have a couple other programs throughout the county that he's the first one we, we wrote in to try to help those people out. And he also takes care of the intranet. So right now. So you all have 20 jobs, it sounds like. Yes. And then we have Al, who takes care of pretty much of everybody. Every call that comes through here, if you know, your computer's broken, it's not turning on, your monitor's not working. So if an employee has a problem, yeah, Al's, Al's, Al's our first line of defense. They call in, and, and he, he looks at it first. And then if he needs help, he pulls in whoever else that he needs to try to diagnose what's going on and, and try to figure out how to resolve it. So and Megan, you told me it's important for the public to understand I wish that I wish I could say this was just a five day nine to four job, but it's not. You were telling me about it. you spent the weekend responding to emails. Yeah. This is twenty four seven IT yeah. work, people correct? Don't, people don't stop. If they have an issue, they're going to contact you. You know, definitely we we um, Jason probably more so than than most of us, but because um, he's the communications, he takes care. If something happens at emergency services at the sheriff's office, he's pretty much the first person that they call. But um, I've been working with some vendors trying to get some things done over the weekend just because that's when nobody's here. So that's the best time to get things accomplished. So mm -hmm. a lot of times you're, you're VPing in and uh, VP you can kind of just get on your computer at home and you can get... Yeah, it office. doesn't end, does it? No, it doesn't. It's just constant. So. Megan, let me ask you, for the average citizen like me now when they say, okay, dealing with computers, so what are the services we supply to the citizens? In other words, out of IT comes what for the average citizen? Well, really, we don't do. We really take care of the people that work for the. County. So the workers, okay. Yeah, that's the, the biggest that's part of the job. Yeah. Okay. Um, the GIS side, they, they, he's definitely working on trying to make some things more visible for the citizens. 
Um, we have a new program that we put in place over there, and we're working with a consultant to try to set up a website so that people can get more visibility of their of their property and see what's what's going on on their property as far we as their zoning. We spend a lot of time with you, Jess, because I think that might be you're yeah. finding it different. But mm -hmm. I mean, can a citizen just call, tell me how that? I mean, if I want a map of something as mm -hmm. a citizen, I can just. Uh, really, that's that's not really how it works. How's it work? um, Tell me how it works. Well, if you were a citizen, you want to know. You would really you would go to the planning office, okay. and then they could pull up maps for you there. We have a um, we have an application that we created for the people at the planning office that they can okay. then pull up. Um, but then then the, what we're creating now will become something that they could pull up on their own okay. from so their house. So if I'm a say I'm a builder, mm -hmm. make sure I'm getting there. I would go to the office, planning office, and say, look at I want to look at a couple sites, yada yada yada. Mm -hmm. They can actually give me a print it out and everything. Thing or right. just show it, share it with me. Well, they can share it with you, and then they they can have the ability to print out different sizes of things. Okay. But mostly, you know, they're not. They don't want to try to give them everybody a huge plot no, of their no, land. They're no. just trying to give everybody. Oh, that's pretty neat stuff, right? And this is all mm -hmm. modern technology with satellites and whatever, correct? Yeah. Well, it's not. Yeah, it is satellites. Yeah, they fly. The state flies every few years, and then um, the county. We work to try to maintain that parcel layer to make sure all those lines are in the right place. Okay. And then, uh, yeah, Sam Stanton over there is really. He's done a lot. I can so. see why you. Don't want to give that up that's yeah. kind of fun stuff yeah I, right. and yes yeah, sam and i work well together we you know it's, okay He's been there for a while. His wife, so. Marlene, is a good phys ed yes, teacher. Yes, she is, and yes. great, He's got the greatest kids in church, okay, <laughs> which uh -huh. is good. Yeah, <laughs> let's go back to the IT world, and I apologize. So mostly supporting staff, all right? So mm -hmm. ha any idea how many, I mean, I always get, when I was on the board of ed, I was always shocked, 14 schools times X mm -hmm. number of computers. Any idea of the number of computers we have? We um, typically, we just kind of throw a number out. It's around 400. And we support around 400 people slash computers. Okay. So, and then a few people have laptops here and there so it's just it it's up and down but that's typically that's our number we just stick with 400. so every day there's probably 400 people on computers <laughs> anytime mm -hmm. screens cannot work this cannot work that mm -hmm. cannot work and they call you yes guys. they call here and okay. then we fix whatever the, the issue is that's a lot of support right? yeah it takes and it takes time and we're not an instantaneous sometimes if it's somebody can't get on to a computer and there's another one sitting right next to it we'll ask they take we'll a step over that. can you just use that computer temporarily until we can get there and uh, there's some things that take a little bit longer to get to than than others so we we hope that people are uh, a little patient yeah patient with Maybe us and yeah they can they can wait. One thing okay. I learned with the Board of Ed, all <clears throat> IT staffs, in my opinion, are understaffed just because mm -hmm. there aren't the monies available. Because 400 computers, Lord, you know, you, mm -hmm. that's an amazing caseload for what, total of five of you, correct? Right. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's, that's a lot of computers. How about go over each one of the people you mentioned in the beginning mm -hmm. uh, and their, their jobs again? Okay. Yeah, you know, let's just delve into that just a little bit. Okay. Well, um, Jason, just to get a little deeper, I guess, he he takes care of the network. So he, we've, previously, we used to have a wireless network all throughout the county like okay. as far as our, our um, wide area network and we have recently moved to fiber so Jason has knowledge of both he's actually learned quite a bit about um, new, a new router that we use new equipment that we've purchased and uh, he takes care of all of the connectivity issues and that's networks completely. each would, each department we have department. about 24 locations throughout the county that okay. we support okay. so he's if any one of those locations goes down he's the first one to try he's to get figure there. out you know what's happening at that location he's got to look, start looking at something called packet loss to see how the communications flowing and and just trying to figure out what it is that's that's getting lost so how, how many uh, this county would subscribe to how many different networks i mean 24 times something or no we're actually no. we're all on one we're, okay, we're all one on network. one network we well, the county we have we kind of split the county into county government and then there's the Department of Emergency Services has their own network. They have a special network. Yes, okay. because they have things that like um, their crime libraries and things like that that have to be separated. Their state. Okay. Their state. Um, and they really they just need to be separated. So from we've us. got one person just keeping their fingers <laughs> crossed. The networks keep running. Everybody can do mm -hmm. their job. Okay, yes. Skip on yeah. to the next one. What else? We got? Okay. Uh, well, the, I can tell you a little bit more about Jason too. I don't want to oh, go please, please. because he's he really he does that all the networking stuff. But then he's also the phones, which okay. the phones seem like you're going to pick so up the phone. Every call, phone that, that, every phone that you call. Yes. Yeah, so okay. all of these, every issue. If somebody moves desks, somebody um, just can't communicate. Something goes down. Voicemail isn't working. He does all of that. Plus he's your cell phones. And Telephones. Yes, and he's your cell phone. So if, if you want a new cell phone, if you want to upgrade, things like that, he does a lot of that. So there's he's got a many he's got many hats, and his he's got a big workload. There's a lot I of things say, that come now, through. The county issues cell phones to certain county employees. 
Yes, yes they okay. do. So mm -hmm. he's got the phone at your desk. Mm -hmm. He's got the cell phones in the back park of the guy helping to build our new county office building. Mm -hmm. And he's got networks. Right. That's a busy man. Yes, he's a very busy man, <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah, and actually, um, we just recently got Derek. So before Derek came, Jason was doing a lot of the server work too. Him and I sort of split okay. some of it, but he was, I could tell you that he did the majority of trying to keep up with that. Mm -hmm. And we've been moving forward with technology. So we went from what's called a physical server, it's an actual physical piece of equipment, and now we're moving into a virtual world. So it's, it's trying to put like 10 servers on one actual server that you can see. Now, so, I know little about this area, mm -hmm. but just the, in my personal life, I've seen phones changing, whether it's the iPhone, whatever, whatever, to the latest model. Mm -hmm. This is a bit, very busy person, right? Yes. Just keeping oh, yeah. up with technology. Absolutely, yeah. So then we were very happy in December to get Derek, okay. who was our, our systems engineer, and he is um, more along the lines of all the servers. He understands how they, they work, how they talk, how they need to be upgraded, trying to figure out how processing, if something starts to get stuck. He's very familiar with the virtual world, so he was able to come in and, and have more knowledge of how all that needs to work and so this will be it will continue an, to work. an area we're going to grow <laughs> in because Lord knows we'll be designing everything in this world that mm -hmm. we don't know about, right? And yes. Buildings, houses, highways, whatever. Is that what we're talking about so I understand it? As and far the, as the, the virtual world? The virtual world, world yeah, yeah. Well, it's, that's where all of the data is going to be. It's going to okay. be in something like a, it's called a virtual server just to consolidate our footprint because everybody's so conscious now. We don't want to have, you know, we don't use more energy than we need to use. We want to sure. try to use, condense it. If you don't need a data center that's like it used to be back in the 60s and 70s that took up a whole room, it keeps getting progressively smaller, smaller, smaller and smaller, smaller, right? So that's where we're headed with the with the server size and then we have something called a storage area network which is basically your data warehouse that now it's just one gigantic place that everybody's information sits rather than it being on 19 different servers. That's it's why I like being an old place. man, Megan. I don't have to understand <laughs> that great people like you and your staff are taking care of no, it. No, okay. we're, we're trying. It's definitely, we're trying to learn as we go and it's, it's it, you know, I think we're, we're if any where you go with IT, I think everybody struggles to try to stay ahead and stay ahead of what's what's the next thing. Because then somebody's going to call, somebody like you, Fred, will call and say, you know, I want this new gadget. Right. You know, how do I get how do I get one of these? And when when can I get it? And when can I put it up? And we're like, wait a minute. What are you talking about? We, have, we need to get one first so that we can understand how to tell you how to fix it or if it breaks or things like that. So it's. Mm. And we would try to try to move slowly. We're not trying to be cutting edge, but we do. We don't want to fall too far behind. You certainly serve your staff well. It seems like to me. I mean, the entire community of workers in the mm -hmm. county. We try to. And yeah. the public is great. How about look? Okay, that's two kind of. How about what other roles are some other people playing? Just a little more depth. Um, well, Al Al can go pretty deep with all the things that he does with. Um, it's really, I mean, if somebody's email account isn't working, it's a all the things that come through that could possibly break on your computer. Al can take your computer apart, look at it, see if something isn't working correctly. He's, he tries to make sure it's not something simple before he gets into the So if I'm a worker and I'm not getting that email from a, the public or other workers, Al's the guy I call and Al's mm -hmm. going to either yeah. tear it apart or whatever he does right. to get it to work Exactly, again. yeah. Okay. And if he, if he can't, then we, we set up computers here. I have two that actually are, are getting ready to go out to some some people throughout the county that are that we need to uh, to roll out because we're trying to get out of the older Microsoft XP world and get all Windows 7. We still have a little little bit more to go, and then we're going to try to do a lot of things with some projects that are coming up with rolling out a new Microsoft Megan, Exchange it's your server. World. We're, we're just passing through. Megan, one of the things you wanted to talk about is how you work uh, very closely with other eight county agencies. You want to talk about that a little bit? Yeah, um, actually with our, our Department of Emergency Services and our Board of Education, we've worked pretty extensively in trying to get fiber throughout the county. So we all um, we all were able to sit down at the table and work well together, which I think is has been great for, for all of us. And we all now can um, use each other as a resource and it helps to uh, to make our lives a little easier whenever we come into questions and things that we can't figure out. We, can, we have somebody else to call, and it's nice to put names and faces together. In the other nice agencies. thing, like cooperating, our kids benefit, mm -hmm. senior citizens benefit by all right, all the levels of IT. By right? mm -hmm. you cooperating, Costs it's better. Mm -hmm. It saves us money, right. saves us time, and I, as a citizen, as other fifty thousand other people, they benefit, right? Absolutely, yeah. Which is great. Mm -hmm. Well, look at thank you for letting us come into the IT world. All right, good mm -hmm, luck sure. with those twins. All right, it's going to keep you busy <laughs> for about 20 more years, okay? Uh, yes. All right. yes, I'm sure.